Welcome back. You're so watching Afternoon Express right here on SABC3. In case you just tuned in, well, you're just in time. I'm in the kitchen with Sonia, and today we're making butterscotch ice cream and shortbread. Mm. Sounds delicious. So let's get straight let's get into it. Yes, right. what do we need? So we're going to start with the butterscotch sauce first. Mm. And so you can use this as a sauce anyway without making the ice cream. But let's start with the butter first. So we'll make right. the sauce. Um, I need pop a, that straight oh, in, there. in there. There All we right. go. Cool. Get that melting. And then we're going to use the lovely Salati Muscovado sugar. Oh, yum. Which makes that lovely butterscotchy, mm. yummy flavor. And how so much of that do you want? All of that. All it's, of a, it. it's a cup. It's a cup. It's a cup's worth. Yeah. Oh, that looks I so know. amazing. And what we're going to do is just melt this down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's one we made earlier. And I, oh, what we need to do now yes. is for the ice cream, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're cool. just going to heat up the milk. The milk? How much milk is this? So that's um, two cups, 500 mils. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you can yeah. tell I don't do this very often. Oh, but you can. You see, this is something so easy. And this My is the, make it. the cream is cream this one is here. over yes. there. Okay, so that's half a cup in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put a little bit of vanilla. Yum. A little bit of vanilla, and I like to add, just to cut in on the sweetness, a little bit of um, ginger. You ginger? Can add, yes. Oh, really, Sonia? So it's kind of like, okay. you know, like a, um, a butterscotch cake or a treacle tart type vibe, you know, with all those mm -hmm. yummy spices. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. autumn is coming, and you want to sort of, you know, have all these yummy, cozy foods that make you feel like you've got a blanket around you. Okay, so here's one we made earlier that's a little bit further gone. All right. And then we're going to add our cream to it. This Let's just one. get that hot. I've got this one. We oh, you've got yeah, that yeah, one there. Sorry. All right, cool. Okay, just let that bubble. See, the sugars dissolve. Oh. What you want to do is the crystals in here take a little bit. You want to do it slowly and let them dissolve and okay. go um, go smooth. Okay. And then we're just going to let this bubble up, and then you'll have this wonderful oh. butterscotch sauce. It's that easy. It's, I never knew easy. it was that easy. So to this make part sauce. is the the bit that you'll need to, as a mum, you need to help your kids make. But this part of making ice cream, your, easy. yeah, it's your fun. kids can do. So this is a um, a super easy recipe that um, doesn't require eggs. Okay, so we're going to add condensed oh, milk. Oh, all right. Into that, condensed and milk. Um, and then if you if you all of it, all of it, yeah. And how much? Is so this is about a half a can. Okay, so you Jeez. tip that. Do you want my spoon? Uh, yeah, me, yeah. You just want oh. you just want the condensed milk, Or else we milk, might right? be here forever. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I just want your spoon. Yeah. In. If you don't, if you've got a um, ice cream machine with a churner, yes, then, about to, it um, makes, you just pop everything into the ice cream machine and leave it there. Then you use but instead of the, the uh, condensed milk, mm -hmm. you use six egg yolks. Okay. Okay, got you. And then you put it in the churner. If okay. you if you don't have a churner, mm -hmm. then this is the easy method. Just use um, like our grannies mm. used to make. Just put the condensed milk in. My granny used to put her. Condensed milk in her tea. Oh my word. So yum. That is delicious. Yeah, I still occasionally in the winter put it in my mm. coffee. Mm. Okay, so there's your, your butterscotch sauce. Now this, you can put it over bought ice cream, you can put oh. it over anything. You can just make it for yourself and have a spoon. <laughs> and sit by the telly in the winter. Oh, so we can let so that yum. cool down. And then we're just going to mix those two together when they're All cooled. Right. And then tip it into a container and there's your ice cream. And then you pop it into, obviously, the fridge into your, into until it sets. So you want to cool this down mm -hmm. first. And then once it's cooled, then you can pop in the freezer in a container that won't crack. So um, a Tupperware or a, um, you know, a stainless steel dish. And then just let it for, you need about four to six hours or overnight. Okay. And then that's done. Um, but so, Sonia, I wanted to know, right, so yours. what if you're lactose intolerant but you totally want to eat ice cream? There are so, <laughs> many, so many options. So you can actually make yogurt ice cream. Oh, yum. But you can make it with goat's, goat's yogurt. Oh, goat's um, yogurt, Or yes. buffalo's, um, a buffalo milk yogurt. Uh -huh. um, you can, um, I haven't tried it myself with almond milk, but you can happily try it. Fantastic. Um, there, are, there are ways and means around it. So I use a really nice um, yogurt recipe where you mm -hmm. use egg whites. So you, you whisk your egg whites and then you, you um, fold in your yogurt. Mm. And yeah, and you can right. add any flavoring you like to it. It's I've so always wondered. delicious. But anyway, thank you very Next much time. for that, Tim. I love that. Sonia and I are going to stay in the kitchen. We've got lots to do. Make sure that you log on to our website if you want the recipe and, of course, the ingredients. Afternoonexpress.co.za. Back to the lounge with Bonnie. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Now, earlier on, we did uh, make some delicious mm. butterscotch ice cream, and now it's time for us to make some shortbread. Still in the kitchen with Sonia. So all our ingredients are laid out. This is how it has and it's going to look, mm -hmm. right? So let's get started. Okay. So we've got a butter. Mm -hmm. we're gonna, it's nice and soft. We want to whip that into the mixer. All in. And then we're just going to whisk that quickly before we chuck everything else in. Okay. So let's just give it a quick whip. There we go. And then we just bang it all in. Everything all at the same day. time. All right, this, there you go. my kids can make every day. It takes five minutes. Oh, that's wonderful. So easy. And then you can add a bit of cinnamon, a bit of lemon zest. 
So that's that. flour? This um, corn flour. This, is, okay. this, this sort of funny looking um, sticky stuff, corn flour. Corn flour. Gives it the lovely texture and then this is normal plain no. flour. Okay. Try not to mess it all over the you and me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the flour cloud. And there's some vanilla. A little bit of vanilla. There and you then go. you just, off you go. Done. Is that all? Done! Okay, so we're going to uh, beat it to a nice um, dough. I won't do it to you see, that's what I do at home. Nice mess. But if you put a dish towel over the top, yes, okay. keeps it all contained. Okay. So it doesn't go see? all over the place. Yes. All right. Yes. A little hat. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have made some dough earlier. That so is so f amazing. It's, all right. But this literally takes three, four minutes. Okay, and then it yeah. goes all crumbly. But how do you done. create that signature butter? You know that shortbread taste, that very buttery. But How do you know? Yeah. That's it. It's just yeah, it's it's so easy. It's just the um, it's the balance between the sugar, okay. the flour, the butter, mm -hmm. and then you just squish it in into your tin. Now you can roll it out. Okay, this yeah. dough is a little bit because we've just made it. It's quite fresh. But if you pop this in the fridge, you could let it harden a little bit. Okay. And you roll it out, and then you could cut shapes. All right, so you could squares cut little or little rounds or squares. You can make ice cream sandwiches. Mm. Um, or if you want a thicker biscuit, you can um, you know you put it in half the tin, make it a bit thicker. Okay. Like that, and then bake it. So you, your options are endless. It's just okay. how long you pop, pop it in the oven for. Uh -huh. So we're going to do that size, which will give you quite a lot of fingers. And, um, and I have some. Why not? Why, why are you resisting? Resistance is futile. <laughs> I'm very hungry today. And then you we're going to pop it in the oven <laughs> for 20, 25 minutes, mm -hmm. just until it's mm. that biscuit coloured. Mm. And then when it comes out the oven, we're going to just sprinkle it with a little bit of caster sugar. Mm. And then you do very light lines, however you want to cut it. Just score it and then let it cool down. So, so delicious. So easy, right? So, 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 so delicious. So All right. tomorrow? Yeah. And the next I'll day. just take all of them. I right might now. have a few people who might be fighting with you. <laughs> well, uh, later on, Sonia and I are going to be uh, dishing this up for all our incredible guests. But after the break, we're reading your social media comments. So if you haven't already joined the conversation, today we're asking you, do you think homework is constructive or a waste of time? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using our official hashtag, Afternoon Express, or comment on our Facebook page. More after the break. Hi, YouTubers. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to us. Join the Afternoon Express family by subscribing to our channel right here. And we'll keep you up to date with all our recipes and, of course, our fabulous episodes. Also, feel free to leave a comment and share this video. We do love it when you express yourself.